How's everyone doing? I am really excited to be here because I have a cool job as a food scientist. Has anyone heard about a food scientist? Raise your hand if you've heard about a food scientist. All right, nice. Well, I didn't know that I was going to be a food scientist when I was a kid, but looking back, there were a few signs. Like, uh, my brother's in the audience, so he can attest to this as a victim of some of my early experiments. One, I was the lemonade maker. Does anyone make lemonade at home? Stand up if you make the lemonade at home. Stand up, stand up. All right, stand up still if you made it with hot water. What? Uh, oh, uh, see, there's a few, right? Why do you do it? Because it makes the lemonade, um, the, the sugar dissolves faster, right? You can sit down. See, thank you, budding scientist. <laughs> what I didn't know was that no one wants to drink the lemonade when it's warm. But now, as a food scientist, you have to understand the science of how things dissolve, but also how it's going to be used in the product. So, um, I didn't know that at the time, but as I've grown up, I've always loved science, and um, I've always loved food. So now, as a food scientist, I get to do both. So when I study food science, I, I look at the microbiological or the biological, physical, and chemical um, components of food and see how they all interact. And um, I went to college at UMass Amherst where I studied food science. And one of the, you know, I said it here in this video and I say it all the time because it's true. One of the reasons why I was so excited about food science is I get to eat my science experiments. <laughs> and then I know when it tastes good, I'm on the right track. After I graduated from UMass, I moved down to New York and I worked for a company called Kraft and I worked on a whole host of products like um, Capri Sun and Kool-Aid. I worked for Roasting Ground Coffee. And I've also worked at ConAgra Foods doing um, vegetarian products like mock meats. So later on today, we're going to have a few exper um, experiments about that. But I wanted to also talk about what I do now. Now I work at UMass Amherst in the Food Science Department in Extension, where I teach um, outside of the university applications of science. And what I do right now is I'm presently looking at researching how we can help farmers wash their vegetables in a safer way to um, make the food supply safe for everybody. So I just wanted to illustrate a few components of food science that you might not have recognized. One thing is, um, I have a picture here of canning, and I think canning is a great example of how food science has come a long way of bringing food to you that tastes great, is convenient, healthy, nutritious, and delicious. If, it's, if we can't convince you to eat it, then we can't make all the other great things within food science. And you can see here is an example of cans, and now we have easy open cans, we have now plastic cups where we can have fruit on the go, already cut up for you, and food scientists look at that to make sure that it tastes great, we look at the ingredients to make sure that things interact well, and we make it safe and delicious. So right now, um, I'm gonna invite a few um, volunteers to come up if they can help me here. And, hi guys. Come on up here, thanks for coming on stage. Great. So, aspiring scientists, come over here with me. We're gonna stand right over here, and the first thing we're gonna do is make a beverage, okay? So, um, have, you guys made cool, have you guys made beverages before from powders? Yes, okay. So we're gonna do a color changing one. What color is this? Can you say it louder? Orange. A, a orange. Orangey color? Yeah. yeah, orangey. Now, can you smell it? What's it smell like? Orange. Yeah, it smells orange. Good. It smells a little fruity. All right, now let's see. Can one of you, can you put the spatula in? And start stirring the water. Ready? All right, now I'm going to add in the color. All right, now we're, this, this is my, my biggest magic trick. Ready? Abracadabra. Ooh, come on. Ooh. <laughs> magic, folks. Okay, it's not really magic, it's science. Science at its best. Color changing. What color is it now, guys? Green. Green. Okay, keep stirring. You want to you take a turn stirring up? We got to stir it up. Good. 
Now, what the science behind this is looking at the ingredient functionality. I have to know what kind of ingredients I can use. They have to be food safe, they have to be able to be functional, and in this situation, I have two ingredients that I've used. One that, that does not dissolve in water, the orange color. And then I have another ingredient that I know that only dissolves in water. And so, being able to understand the chemistry behind how uh, food ingredients work, I can create fun food products like this. So, now, what color do you think this is? Oh, excuse me, what flavor? What was that? Raise your stand up if you think it's kale. <laughs> no? 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 I don't know, probably, oh, one person. All right, can you guys, Rachel, can you help them taste this? They're going to help tell us, but what flavor do you guys think this is? Anyone else? You can yell it out. Orange. Some people think it's orange. Lime. All right. Lemon, lime, apple, all right. Now let's have our tasters, our tasters are gonna test it and find out, okay? Thank you. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, what's it taste like? Yeah. It tastes like, like lime, like a lollipop. It tastes like a lime lollipop. Okay, now close your eye, it's not lime. It's not lime. Close your eyes and taste it again. Close your eyes. Think of it. What's it does it taste any different? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, now I'm going to tell you what I really made it. It is not, it's not candy. It is strawberry. Ha-ha! Strawberry, folks! But I had a green. And this is a product that we made once upon a time, and it had it look orange, and you add water, taste green. But the whole part of food science is kind of fun, is it's this experience. We always associate what we're eating with colors. And I can play little tricks with you by doing something like this, where we think lime with green, or we think a green apple. But it was really strawberry. Okay, so now, let's see, we're going to try another one. When I worked for a vegetarian company, I um, used to do developments of trying to make um, mock meats out of soybeans. And during the development, I used to use my husband as a um, subject, let's say, and I would go home and bring my best findings to him and say, I think I'm on the right track with this chicken. And, um, <laughs> Not everything, again, was successful. It takes a little bit of development to understand how to use these ingredients, how to use these, um, the processing techniques to make sure it's safe and still tastes good, and we look at all sorts of things to make it happen. So I thought, uh, you guys are going to play the same game I've done with my husband, but I'm giving you full disclosure, okay? So we're going to play a game. Ready? And it's called... What is that? Okay, so I'm gonna have you guys taste two products. The first one I want you to taste is this one here, subject 413. You each take a sample here. Okay, okay yeah, take one here, here. Now the game is this, what does that mean? You're gonna taste two products, and then you're gonna tell me which one you think was made from soybeans, and which one was made from chicken. Okay, can you do that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now don't don't reveal your answer yet. We're gonna taste the other one. Mm -hmm. So as a food scientist, I'm gonna <laughs> Man, I'm not on the right track. As a food scientist, we use different ingredients and I'm while they're eating these pieces, I'm just gonna show you a few examples of some, these are called textured vegetable protein. And what we do is you take, pro, you take soybeans and we dry out the protein and we make, um, we use an extruder. It's kind of like what we use for cheesy poofs, you know, those, those dye that pressures it out. And you can make different textures. And then we use this as an ingredient and try out different ways to determine if we can make different textures. And in this situation, we're doing it for sausages. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like it, you can spit it in the cup. Okay. <laughs> what? In the cup or the Whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> which one? 
Which one, which one tastes, which one do you think was meat? Which one? I think the first one. The first one was meat? And what do you think? This, yes, the first one was veggie. <laughs> and the second one was meat. Uh-huh. Was it tasty? Good. <laughs> you, oh, you like the first one better. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks to our volunteers. I'll have you guys come over here. All right, so I just want to illustrate again that food science is a really cool field. You get to eat your science experiments. You get to study all sorts of different types of science, chemistry, biology, microbiology, engineering, math. You get to create new types of ingredients, new flavors, and create all sorts of um, food that's healthy and delicious for, for the world. So I encourage you to consider food science. Thank you very much.